Chapter on the witness of a blind man, his marriage, his affairs, the marriage conducted by him, and his buying and selling, and accepting his call for the salah, prayer, etc., and what can be known by sound or voice. Al-Qasim, Al-Hassan, Ibn Sirin, Al-Zuhri, and Afa permitted the witness of the blind. Al-Sharbi said, the witness of a blind man is valid if he is intelligent and witty. Al-Hakam said, The witness of a blind man in certain things is to be accepted. Al-Zuhri said, Suppose, Ibn Abbas gave a witness against me. Would you reject his witness? Ibn Abbas used to send a man to watch the sunset, so that he might break his fast. He would ask about the dawn, and if he was informed that it was dawn, he would offer to Raqqa'a a prayer. Sulaiman bin Yasar said, I asked Aisha to admit me into her house, and she recognized my voice and said, Sulaiman, come in, as you are still a slave, so long as you still owe part of the price of your manumission. Samura bin Jundab accepted the evidence of a veiled woman. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the Prophet peace be upon him heard a man reciting the Qur'an in the mosque, and he said, May Allah bestow his mercy upon him. No doubt he made me remember such and such verses of such and such surah, which I dropped from my memory. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. The Prophet peace be upon him performed the tahajjud prayer in my house, and then he heard the voice of Abad, who was offering salah in the mosque, and said, O Aisha, is this Abad's voice? I said, Yes. He said, O Allah, be merciful to Abad. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Bilal pronounces the Adhan when it is still night, before dawn. So, eat and drink till the next Adhan is pronounced, or till you hear Ibn Ummi Maktoum's Adhan. Ibn Ummi Maktoum was a blind man who would not pronounce the Adhan till he was told that it was done. Narrated Al Miswar bin Makhrama, may Allah be pleased with him, some outer garments were presented to or received by the Prophet, peace be upon him. And my father, Makhrama, said to me, Let us go to the Prophet, peace be upon him, so that he may give us something from the garments. So my father stood at the door and spoke. The Prophet, peace be upon him, recognized his voice and came out carrying a garment and telling Makhrama the good qualities of that garment, adding, I have kept this for you. I have kept this for you.